In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a basket weave stitch. So to begin with, I'm just cutting down my strands of thread. So I'm working with an arm's length of thread. And as we usually do, I'm then going to split this down into three strands and work with three. And now however many you use entirely depends on the design you're stitching. And there is a separate video showing you the specific process of splitting threads. But here I'm threading up my needle and I'm gonna tie a knot. Now in most of our kits, when you go about doing something like a basket weave or any areas, we will have marked on the design the area you're filling. But here, I'm just gonna fill in a rectangle just to show you as an example. And I haven't drawn it out, but if you find it easier, do draw it out. So you see, first I'm making a diagonal stitch. And then I'm going to go up above where my first diagonal was and create a cross going back directly across my first stitch. So a kind of perfect cross. Then I'm going to work back upwards on the same left hand side and come back down, creating another cross just below the first one. So it's that simple. I basically work in crosses, creating crosses, going from the left to the right, from the right to the left, slowly working down the shape. And as you can see, as I start to build up, you get this woven look of the threads side by side. And so all I'm doing is creating crosses all going down in a row. And as I get to the bottom of a shape, I'll maybe make the crosses start going slightly smaller in order to fill in and get my corners. Now, when I'm doing a rectangle or filling a shape, it may be that I do that exactly same thing at the top as well. Just takes a little bit more thought at the top of the shape, how you're going to finish it. So that's the basic one color. Now to show you a two color basket weave, and this is a fun way of adding more interest to your basket weave. So I'm actually gonna work with both colors at the same time. So I've got my two needles, both threaded up in the blue and the orange. And so I've brought them in on the opposite sides of the rectangle. And I'm gonna take my needle down, and then I'm gonna bring it immediately up just below. So that's already starting the line for my next X. So that's gonna complete my first X with the orange. And then I repeat the process, so I bring that up just below the previous stitch. And then I'll go back to my blue again. Bring that down and go back up underneath there, underneath my orange. And then the orange turn. And I just repeat this process, so switching needles so I'm going one at a time and then weaving them intertwined. So I'm basically creating exactly the same effect as the last one, but because I've got two colors, you get this lovely sort of diagonal V going on. And I'll show you again close up. This is just me finishing it down at the bottom. And you see that really nice woven look you're getting from having the two colors. You see the design of the stitch much better. And then I'm just going to show you how I'm going to finish the top. And you would really, if you had the patience, weave in and out as you do the top bit, just so you maintain that same pattern. But I don't have the patience. So I'm going to just finish off the top, just creating short stitches going in. You see, I'm going in with my blue on the other side, going back up to the top and coming across. And so I'm just creating a nice little seal at the top of my basket weave. And that's it. That's your one colour, your two colour basket weaves. Lovely stitch. I really hope you enjoy this. Do take a look at the rest of our stitch videos and our start stitching course if you enjoyed this video. Thank you.